Dear residents, I am Red and I am Angel and, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. We are here to design and build a loft bed for our clients. And we are here at Entire Residences and this is going to be our first fit out vlog and we are very excited to show you how it's done and its construction process. Mm. But before we start, we'd greatly appreciate if, if you'd hit the subscribe button below and give us a thumbs up on our video. Also, don't forget to hit the notification button for more updates on our channel. So, let's, let's go. go! Join us! So this is the condo unit. It's a 24 square meter studio type apartment with a ceiling height of 2.8 meters. And unlike any other condos that we have worked on, this, this is a pretty decent height for a condo unit. It's 2.8 meters. It is really ideal for a loft bed project. So first, we are going to choose our boards. I got these from different suppliers, as you can see. And I love earthy tones. That's why I'm going to choose gray, white, and brown colors because they just blend with everything. Boards most commonly sold in the market is the marine plywood and the particle board. The one on the left is the marine plywood and on the right is the particle board. In terms of cost, Particle boards are cheaper by 500 to 1,000 pesos depending on your supplier. But for this project, it is advisable that we use the marine plywood. Since the project is a loft bed, most of the time the users will step on the boards. So we need a material that is strong, durable, waterproof, and can withstand the weight of a person. If you buy cabinets from a furniture store or any department store, You'll notice that this is usually the material of the cabinets that they use, the particle board. The disadvantage of particle boards is that once it gets wet, the board disintegrates and expands to the point that its edgings will be torn off. So to prevent that, it's better if we use the marine plywood instead. Bimo, say hi to the vlog. She's busy nursing her pups. <laughs> 